morning guys it is currently Monday morning and basically yesterday we were just sat at home with nothing to do and I decided to randomly go on Airbnb to see if there were anything available if there were any like staycations or experiences and we found this glamping which I'll show you guys right behind me um, so we drove out today and decided to stay the night um, so we're in Berminster, Berminster. I've never been here before, I've never even heard of this place until I found this Airbnb um, experience. So we've got a view of some horses, and I think the owners of this property live down there. There's a very friendly dog um, that came to say hi, Tilly. Um, so hopefully she says hi, comes, comes and say hi again. But here's the tent, lots of nice space there's a little barbecue there i brought my long champ with me as well as my multicolor murakami keep ball i'm obsessed with this i just wanted an excuse to bring it with me so since we took the car there's no like weight limit or whatever i was able to just pack very comfortably okay so i'm gonna give you guys a tour of the tent First of all, this in the listing showed that it can be lifted up like this, uh, rolled up, so hopefully we can do that tomorrow morning so we can wake up and chill with the view. But it's pretty much it, guys. The bed, there's a little sitting area there. The temperature is really nice in here, by the way. There is a heater as well. A little kitchen. And then around here, we've got a shower. The sitting area again and then around here is the toilet and the interior is not my style but it's cute um, I love the tent super cozy in here and the view is amazing and I can't wait to have breakfast tomorrow or dinner later <laughs> Actually, currently in Ireland 
um, we were doing kind of like a road trip. We've been doing this road trip for the past like, know, like four or five days now or something. And um, we're currently in Ireland. We drove over here. Um, I'm not vlogging this trip or anything just because there's not much to vlog, first of all. Um, it's a lot of relaxing time, a lot of just like walking around, enjoying nature. And um, plus in Ireland, we have to isolate in the Airbnb anyway. It's kind of like random. I don't know how it works because we're only here for two days. But like if you come in, you have to quarantine for two weeks before going, like, before going out into Ireland. We're only here for two days. Um, we've just been driving by, stopping at viewpo viewpoints. Um, you know, where there's nobody around, literally. And then finding our Airbnb and staying. And yeah, I'm just chilling in here until we can leave again. We're actually going to go to Wales tonight, so I'm really excited for that. I might actually have to film a little tour of this Airbnb because it's like so freaking cute. And the view, guys. Let me just show you guys my view right now. Like, this is what I'm looking at. And there's a little pond down there with some duckies. Anyways, let's focus on the more exciting thing, which is this. I'm, I'm sure it's what most people are here for. Um, I don't even know where to start, guys. <clears throat> so this is my first ever Hermes handbag um, That's my, that I bought myself. My mom has some and I borrowed hers. Sorry, I just had to put my rings on because I felt like, you know when you like have, when you're so used to having jewelry on and when it's not on, you feel really odd when it's not on. Yeah. So, when it comes to buying Hermes, like, okay, we all know it's very difficult to get. You can't just go into a shop to buy one. You kind of have to have um, either a sales associate kind of um, relationship. You have to be some kind of VIP. You have to be some kind of, you know, I don't know, celebrity. <laughs> you have to be somebody um, to them for them to offer an Hermes bag. And currently, I am nobody to them. And then if someone's going to ask about my mom, my mom, she does have um, credit, I mean, she does have history um, at Hermes, she does have <clears throat> a pretty solid account with them, um, and she could probably definitely get <laughs> one of the bags, but um, she doesn't like Birkins or Kelly's or Constance's, those are the three bags she really does not like from Hermes. She has some other ones, but yeah, the, the Birkins and Kelly's especially is just really not for her. Um, and because she doesn't like it, I just don't feel comfortable asking for her help to get one. Um, I have never, like like I said in my previous video, I haven't actively tried getting one myself. I haven't gone to Hermes to make a wish until that purchase in my last haul. And I had originally told people I just didn't want to buy secondhand because I didn't want like the double um, price charge, basically. The, um, the price point is doubled in... Um, secondhand than in retail and I just refused to do that on top of not getting the service <clears throat> anyways so clearly this is not one of my wish bags um, like I said I would prefer to get those in the store but I think it's important to know that I'm not happy with myself with this purchase like honestly I really did want to wait I wanted my first bag to be from store and I was just so like oh, I really want to wait but there are people who are telling me how it's just going to be really hard to get my hands on any um, Hermes Birkins or Kelly's this year especially if I'm not like a returning customer just because of COVID and there's less being produced but also <clears throat> apparently Howard's is going to be opening like the biggest flagship store um, for Hermes here uh, in, in, the, in, uh, in London and so they're trying to save all the um, <clears throat> Birkins and Kellys and like, you know, the special bags so that they can fill up the space because apparently it's going to be freaking massive. It's going to take up like half the floor or something like that. I mean, don't quote me on it. I just heard. <clears throat> I'm not like, I don't even know when this is going to happen, but apparently it's supposed to happen in the coming year. But because of COVID, we're not sure yet. So, oh, I forgot to mention, I have tried Made a Wish once when I tried to make an appointment in Paris, but that was during fashion week and I was only there for literally two days or like even one day or something like that. One night, two days, something like that. And I made an appointment because you, you can make an appointment the day before. And it, obviously I knew I wouldn't be able to get it because it's fashion week, but I just did it anyway just to see my luck. It didn't work out. But yeah, that's the under, another time that I tried to get an appointment to get an Hermes bag. But anyways, I might try that again in a time that's not fashion week, um, less busy. Okay, so I'm just going to reveal the bag and then explain my thought process, okay? So, what I got was a Birkin 35 in the blue jean, jean, blue jean. 
silver hardware <laughs> and Epsom leather. Let me just put this down and explain to you guys why I decided to get this. So, um, when I, so the other day I was walking around and I had my heart set on getting the cassette chain bag, the new cassette chain bag, and um, I went in to have a look at what colors they had and just didn't like any of them, so I was just gonna wait some more. And then we continued walking a little further um, and we passed Design Exchange and I always like to pop in there. And I was looking at something else and Con I remember just kind of running over and being like, oh my god, one. And by the way, I told him about like Hermes and, you know, wanting to get a Birkin, etc. So he runs over and he goes, well, man, um, there's this beautiful Birkin and like the price is actually not bad. And I was like, what do you mean the price is not bad? Like, is the bag like beat up? Like, is it like still looking okay? <laughs> and he's like, come look. So I come over and I see this bag and I see the price tag and I was like, what's the catch you know what I mean because like mind you I'm a little bit blind <laughs> so I do need to wear glasses so when I first saw this I was like it's pristine <laughs> and that's not pristine trust me so even though the price is really good I still don't feel comfortable sharing prices you guys know I don't like sharing prices I never really do um, I try to link as much as I can down below obviously I can't link this but whatever I can I'll link down below but yeah I just I don't like sharing prices so I asked to see the bag closer and after closer inspection, which I'll bring it up to the computer, computer, <laughs> to the camera, you'll see that there are some wares on the corner, on all four corners. There's a bit of marking here and some scratches, a small, small amount of scratches down here. So those are the main bits. Let me just pull, pull closer now so you guys can see. Here is where a lot of the wear is. However, in terms of like, second hand Birkin with the price tag that it had, this is not that bad condition at all, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I've seen, I've gone to so many, I've been to so many consignment stores that sell Birkins and stuff like that, and I've seen them, so like, in my opinion, this is just not as bad, um, and it's quite easily fixable. I don't know, you can, I can't even see the scratches, but I promise you there's scratches on here, like there, that's a scratch there, that's a scratch there, like a long one there. But um, I think the most wear is on the corners. That's where I see most wear. And then, like I said, there's a little mark here. Oh, where is it? In there. Um, what else can I see? Everything else, in my opinion, is in pretty freaking good condition. I absolutely love the exposed stitching on this. So good. And the stitching is still white, which I really like. Oh, there's a little bit. There's more here that needs to be... Um, fixed. The hardware is looking really good. There's not, there's very minimal scratches, scratches, which I was really happy about. Like, I mean, you can see the fingerprints, but the hardware itself is pretty good. Um, the key and the lock is pretty good as well. Yeah, very minimal scratching. Um, sorry, it is stuffed. So I actually left this bag and I decided to think about it and yeah, I just decided to go think about it. So I was thinking about it and several things, one main thing kind of like, kind of tipped it over and I was like, okay, it's worth buying it um, now. One biggest reason is, as I said earlier, it's going to be very difficult for me to ever score Birkin. And he, I was talking to Conrad about, I was like, should I get it, should I not? He was like, well, it might be a while until you get offered one in store. So, but the second and like main reason or bigger reason is that when I first started seeing Hermes bags and first started like just kind of being interested in it, anytime my friend would send me a Birkin with like some kind of cool artist illustration on it, those are the times I gag and I'm like, oh my god, what a cool bag. I remember seeing someone with a mini Kelly or a Kelly clutch actually, one or the other, I can't remember. And it was in a baby blue color and it had freaking Dumbo on it. The most adorable Dumbo illustration I'd ever seen and I was upset. That was kind of like the day I was like, I need one of these bags. Um, I really, really want like a mini Kelly or a Kelly, I can't remember which Kelly it was, but it was one of the mini Kellys um, or the Kelly clutch or something and I was just like obsessed. I had always told myself whenever I score a Birkin or a Kelly, I would eventually get it painted as well, like something really cool. And after starting my little hunt for an Hermes bag, I am realizing how difficult it is. Also, just, I don't know, just thinking about it now, I'm like thinking if I ever score one in store, I would never want to 
do anything to it. I would never want to paint on it. I would never want to, I just would keep it as it is and, you know, in its pristine condition and just not F with it basically. But then Conrad asked me if I'd be okay with getting something painted on a secondhand Hermes bag and I was like, that is, that's true. I would do that. I, on a, on a new one that I get in store and my wish one, I probably wouldn't touch it, but on um, a second handbag, I definitely would much more prefer and consider that. And so that is pretty much like the bigger reason of why I got it. Obviously, I'm going to clean this up first, get it fixed, and then use it like this for a little while. But eventually when I get bored, mostly because of the size, I'm not going to get bored of the color, I know, but I might get bored of the size um, in the future. And when I do, I think this size it would be the best size. Anything bigger than the 30, I think 30. 35, 40, those the bigger ones look best with illustrations on it. So I am eventually going to get this painted, guys. I am so excited. Um, obviously, I want to enjoy it like, as it is now um, for a little bit. But oh my gosh, I, um, I've been like searching, looking for inspiration. Um, here it is like fully closed. Um, Do I show you guys these marks at the back? There's these marks here. Just the usual like corners and sides that you know would usually get like bumped on or whatever. Um, so there are two ways for me to get this fixed. Um, the first way, probably the most preferable way, um, is sending it into Hermes. Um, I don't think they authenticate it for you, but I don't but I think if it's not authentic they wouldn't fix it anyway. I think the guy said it was about 400 pounds four five or something like that for the damages on my bag which is I think it was a really good price um and however it will take eight months <laughs> eight months I guess enough and the guy was like the guy being who the person who sold me this bag um in a design exchange he said um with COVID at the moment it'll probably take even longer he mentioned that there is another option which was um the hammer clinic which is on King's Road they authenticate bags if you if you can pay to get um, your bags authenticated as well as just like revamped and you know cleaned up and stuff like that. So um, I sent in pictures and asked for a quote. And for my for the damages on this bag, they gave me an estimate of 160 pounds, which is great. Um, I think it's gonna still be a little bit more when they see it in person because you know they, I was only to sit, I was only allowed to like post like three or four photos and there's like other spots but I don't think there's gonna be much I don't think it's gonna be much more than that because it is very minimal wear um, what else uh, and it will only take a month which is great I also um, I also want to pay for the authenticating auth authentication service so when I bought this bag it came with certificates which I don't have with me because I left that back in Vietnam um, you know back in um, London um, the authentication was from um, an online service called Baba Baba Baby and apparently I googled them because I've never heard of them either. I googled them and they specialize in authenticating Hermes, authenticating Hermes bags, so that felt good. So it's kind of like, like I mean, Design Exchange is already credible, and then they got it, you know, authenticated by Baba Baby. And if I do it again and authenticate it again at Pama Clinic, I think I'd be pretty satisfied that this is authentic <laughs> after three authentications, basically. I love the color. Obviously, the colors what drew me. So the color drew me, and the price tag. <laughs> um. So yeah, obviously, because it's second hand, I feel like a lot of them show more like stretch on the leather at the back. But man, this fits a lot. I've been shoving it. It's it's holds. It's, I mean, it's become my travel bag <laughs> so far. So I'm really happy with it. Oh, I didn't even show the interior, guys. What the heck? Here's the interior. The interior is arguably better than the exterior. Um, I don't see any marks, it's just a folding of the leather I can see on both sides. I mean, you can tell it's just, it's been used. But um, there are no like pen marks or scratches in it at all. And yeah. I mean, I've got some time because I mean, I can keep this for as long as I want until I feel like painting on it. Um, and I, I think I'm just like really inspired now, that's why I'm thinking so much about it. So you guys have any ideas of when I should get painted on it? I mean. The obvious ones is like Dumbo, but my Dumbo looks cute on the mini ones, on the mini, on the on the clutch and stuff. Um, but Dumbo's still a good idea. I was thinking maybe like what Betty Boob, something like Pop Artie. Um, I don't know. 
or we can go like the Sanrio route because like and be all kawaii and cute and stuff. I also want to get my hat box from Louis Vuitton that I got during Christmas painted, but I know I want a Vivian doll for that. Like I know it's like some kind of Vivian doll because like Louis Vuitton, you know. But I don't know, like what a horse. My dad is a horse in the Chinese zodiac, so it would be cool to get a horse painted. Okay, anyways, that's something I'll think about. I am going to give you guys a tour of this place. Okay, so excuse me, I'm filming this on my phone because my camera is charging at the moment, it's out of battery, but I wanted to share this Airbnb with you guys because it is stunning. So here is our little like sitting area outside. Um, Look at all this land, so stunning. They have a little pond out here. There are some duck, which you'll see on the side. And then here is the actual accommodation. Excuse the mess because <clears throat> clearly we've been living in it and I haven't really cleaned up that much. But here's a little conservatory section here. A um, little table, breakfast table, a little sofa. Then here is the bathroom. Um, slash toilet. It's got a nice shower. And then the toilet. And then through here, there's a little mirror there. But here is the main part of the house. Sorry, like I said, it's a little bit messy. We have a single bed here and then two double beds on both sides. So one on each. There is a little like dining area here which is really cute um, here's the kitchen love all the wooden detailings look how cute little water dispenser they made it so nice in here and then here is a little sitting area all our junk here at the moment there's a little window oh the ducks are gone usually there are ducks there but I don't know where they went. Um, I just like how this place is decorated as well. It's very cozy and homey. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go up. The stairs are different on both sides as well, which is interesting. Um, might be a bit dark to see. Okay, that's better. I got the blinds open, but here is the bed that we slept in and then on the other side, oh, by the way, there's a massive as fuck disco ball there. Just go downstairs. See, these stairs are different and look how cute these stairs have a little like mice, um, little door for them, I guess. I don't really know, but I thought that was a cute idea. A cute little detail. And then here's the other bed on the other side. And here's a view of the entire place. I literally just discovered the switch for the disco ball and now it's a freaking party up in here. <laughs> oh my god, I need a massive disco ball now. But my favorite room is still the conservatory just because it's super cozy in here. I never had a conservatory. It's like not normal in Asia. And one day I definitely want to have one because this is like my favorite part of anyone's house in England, I swear. Not that I'm in England, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm going to end my vlog here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed yet another, this is an extra random vlog just because it is like footage from spread out between like several weeks. So yeah, it's a little bit more random than usual, but that's just how my vlogs always go. There's never any <laughs> real rhyme or rhythm to it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments you guys have down below. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions of what I should paint on my new little lady, even though, like I said, I'm going to wait to do it. But um, I would love to hear you guys' suggestions because you guys always think of like the coolest things I don't think about. So yeah. And what else? And yeah, besides that, hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch up with me again. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.